This track is called Full Broadside, and uh, in case that needs further clarification, when a ship fires its full broadside, that means every single cannon on that one side of that ship fires upon an enemy, and obviously that's a pretty devastating thing to, to do. You know, the song starts off with this uh, beautiful uh, solo female vocal, as well as this sort of ambient uh, uh, bed. And to me, it very much just sounds like the sea, like the essence or the, the heart of the sea is sort of coming forth. And visually speaking, what I essentially see in the beginning is almost like a drone shot or, or, or camera, you know, gliding on water through mist to this sort of scene of, of, a, of a chase, you know, one ship chasing another or, or you know, two ships soon to be engaging uh, in battle. From that, we jump into action, sort of a more kind of preparation uh, or approach type of a situation. We're getting closer to the enemy and uh, everyone on the ship is feeling uh, the weight of that. And everyone is feeling the anticipation they're getting ready for that combat. Obviously, then we jump and punch into uh, this uh, section with these, you know, big hits, which clearly now demonstrate to us that we are in the midst of, uh, of a fearsome uh, combat. It's not like a purebred action track in the sense that there's definitely a strong undertone of uh, sadness and, and, and melancholy. I sort of see this track being almost from the perspective of the captain of the ship. Now, obviously, he's after uh, success and plunder and, and, and glory, but also the harsh reality of the situation is that he's going to have to put his men in a position where a lot of them will get hurt, a lot of them will die, and in addition to that, the people on the other ship that he doesn't even know will get hurt or they will die. Um, and uh, that reality doesn't escape him. He's well aware of that. He's not a psychopath. So deep down, he can't just detach from that reality. Uh, although he is probably a, a, a harsh motherfucker, he's still only a human being. And there's only so much of that gruesome reality and uh, living with these uh, horrible deeds that uh, one can take. It's essentially about the responsibility towards those uh, lives, but also his own uh, ambition, as well as the ambition of, of his own crew, because he as the captain needs to um, chase that as well and uphold to his uh, uh, promise to his own crew. And it's essentially that conflict in his heart that uh, this song is about. That's probably why this speaks to me so much because, you know, I, I'm just a, a sucker for that sort of archetypal uh, theme of, of being in the midst of difficulty, pain, sadness, uh, strife, sorrow, but still, you know, pushing forward a sense of never giving up and, and, and never quitting. And, and that essence really pushes you through all this difficulty. I do want to mention that the midsection of this song is um, its just probably one of my favorite uh, parts of the entire album. It just, um, there's something fundamentally powerful archetypal about how it feels and and especially the the lead uh, female solo vocal is just so energetic so soulful so you know heartbreaking and 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 um, through that you can hear the the pain and the heartache and the struggle and the, the striving force, essentially the, the conflict that exists between, you know, striving forward, striving for 
for victory, but the process of it is also very uh, painful and, and dangerous and uh, causes a lot of uh, sorrow and pain and sadness.